You want to start with a pistol or a rifle? So, you'll just do the rifle first. Right. Can I have a two here? Yeah. yeah. This will always be on the outside unless you're trying to... I can tighten it. You want to tighten it? Uh, yeah, a little bit. My dick. <laughs> My dick. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to do this one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I hate this shit. Yours too? Yeah. Find a really good one. Go, uh, it's called. Oh, hold the rifle up. Okay. My favorite one is called, uh, I forgot what it's called. Actually, now I'm gonna try it. So, we went over basic safety stuff, right? Yeah. It's a me, gun safety. Uh, like, I like your finger right now, that's perfect. And you're pointing down to the ground. You already got everything? Hey. There is. It's simple. When the safety's off, when you pull the trigger, it goes bang. Uh, just make sure it's pointed towards the target and have fun with it. And then we can boil down how to shoot better after that. Yeah. Don't anticipate your shots either. When you start anticipating your shots, you're gonna start fucking up a lot. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> okay, first thing I want you to do is- right, let's, let's work on stance. I wanna, I wanna make sure which eye dominant he is. Not that it matters with the rifle, but it's still good to know. Make a little circle like this. Tighter. Look at me. Look at me. Through the through the hole. Yeah, your left eye dominant. Are you right-handed? I'm right-handed. Okay. So for your rifle, if you're right-hand dominant, use your right eye, close the left eye. Okay. But for the pistol, most likely you're gonna have to use your left eye. But if you can train your right eye, that's probably better. But uh, okay. your left eye dominant. So that means everything you look in the world, you use your left eye more than you do your right eye. Okay. Okay. But, uh, all right, let's come right here. Cool. For a rifle, you want a little bit of an aggressive stance, kind of like a fighting, you know how you fight? You have your left foot forward and you punch out. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like that. You want to do that, like pretend you're fighting. Okay. And then basically the rifle is going to fit like that. Gotcha. And then there you go, perfect. So that's the basic thing, right? So there's five points of contact for the rifle you got your left hand you got your right hand you got your cheek you got the shoulder pad i think there's only four actually there's only four so you, you want to get your cheek in there too you have another rifle <laughs> yeah no that's fine I'm, i want him to see how my cheek is on the rifle while he's holding the rifle. actually i could just yeah yeah so Remember, from the feet ground up, right? Like you're fighting, you're holding the gun. This right here. The shoulder, you want it, there's a meaty portion right here. You can like feel it with your thumb. Uh -huh. You want it tucked in there, but you want to lift your shoulder up. Okay. You don't want to bend your face down to it because what happens if you bend your face down to it, um, the eyes are looking up at a weird angle and it can mess up your shot. It's not going to show the exact picture of the front sight on this. So you want to lift your shoulder up, bring it in, and then bring your face down. Not like this, but bring it down while cheeking the rifle. This is really important. This is how you make sure your aim from the rifle doesn't shift. Mm. So when there's a recoil and it moves and you're not cheeking it, then you have to find your aim back again. But okay. if you just cheek it right here and hold it, the whole time when you're shooting, your eyes won't let go the front side. And you hold uh, the left with your left. Let's so there's multiple that. ways okay multiple that's one of the big things right uh with tactics changing in the newer generation there's this thing called a c clamp what to do is you make a c out of your index and your uh thumb and you push it in you pull it in see how my elbows flared out yeah. you pull it in and the reason they teach that is for close quarter combat that's what this is we're not shooting 50 yeah, 50 meters out or 300 meters out and all that bullshit, right? We're close. We're shooting like within, I'd say around 20 meters, even, even lower than that. Yeah. So what C-clamp lets you do is you're controlling the front sight and can move with it really fast. Mm. Up, down, move down, up and down with it. And if there's recoil, if the gun is going up, use your thumb pressure to push the gun down a little bit. Oh, okay. okay. That's why they teach the C-clamp. But that doesn't mean it's the best grip out there. So. If you're like shooting for a long term, I don't know, I'm sure you've seen in Call of Duty where they hold it like this. Yeah. Right? If you're shooting for a long term 
and you keep on shooting, this won't fatigue your arm that quickly. This will fatigue your arm. Yeah. This won't. Um, the other one a lot of people teach is the magwell right here. People grip it like this. This is one of the biggest misconceptions. Everybody thinks this is the best grip ever because you can do it standing, kneeling, and sitting down or whatever, right? And proning. This is good. This is meant for close quarters. So like if you're running in a team, if I have another person over here and I have another person behind me, putting the hand over here brings my elbows closer so we're not bumping into each other. Mm. That was the point of this. Yeah, yeah. And not only that, you can hold the rifle longer. This is the most comfortable grip. You can hold the rifle forever. But if you're going for marksmanship, if you're going for like clearing buildings and shit, you gotta change the grip around. Gotcha. So clearing buildings, shoot like this. If I'm shooting for like fucking 10 minutes for a, a lot of time, shoot like this, my arm under it. If I'm moving in a team with people around me, I'm right here. Mm. Um, also for like on the law enforcement side, we do like traffic stop, high felony traffic stops or high risk traffic stops. When we get a rifle, I do this too because I can rest my elbows in and I can just hold it forever. Yeah. I can just hold it. And from here, I can go into this, right? But I can't move my rifle as quickly with my hand here. Whereas over here, I can go exactly where I need to be. Yeah, okay. So those are the best different variations. Gotcha, gotcha. And then there's another one, the competitive shooting, competitive style. That's like the target is really small, really far away. And like, that's where they teach you to angle it right at the target hold it like this the magazine hits your front arm you let it rest on your hand and like i'm not even using the buttstock anymore i'm just over here taking a breath and taking a shot sounds for accuracy say again sounds for accuracy for really far away because gotcha, gotcha. you're doing one shot at a time you can't take multiple shots you have to readjust your rifle again after that so that's for like really far marksmanship falls and stuff so it really depends on what the context is Got There's it. no one size fits all. Yeah, yeah. So over here, I say start off like shooting like how do, they do it in Call of Duty. Start off like this. And then once you get comfortable, you can move to other sides. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. Cool. Uh, here we are. Here we are. You said cheek it. Yeah. And then uh, rest your weight more on your left foot than you do on your right foot. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. All right. You ready to shoot? Uh, yeah. Flip right here. I'll just flip here. That safety off? Yeah. Shoot at the bottom, or on the right side, bottom left target. On the right side, the white. Oh, this paper. one? Yeah. Bottom left target. And lean into your rifle more. Oh, shoot. Hold that. Bottom left. Yep. The EOS is off for the light. Let me see. No, you know what it is? What is it? Look at my face. Come around and look at my face. Look at my shoulder and my face. Hey, range is going hot. Let's see if it's centered up or not. Yeah, that's pretty close. Now, you do it. It's on safe, but go ahead and try it. Aiming down. And then, uh, where's my... You have your phone on you? Okay. Alright, now hold it. Woo! Put the safety back on. Okay. There you go, perfect. Gotcha. Aim down. Okay. I'm gonna fix your stance. Uh, aim down, look look into the side again. Look at the target. Oh, uh, this is way different. Yeah, lean forward a little bit. Okay. Put the rifle buttstock, lift your shoulder up. Your shoulder, not your whole arm, just your shoulder. Okay, so like that. Bring your elbow down, close to your body. There you go, and now try to lift your shoulder up. Mm, let's see. So Let like, me see your phone. phone. Yeah, my phone, here. I'm gonna show you a picture of it, okay? Aim down, pretend like you're shooting. All right. Now, use this as your reference. Look at yourself, and now look at me. Hey, I want you to really pay close attention to your cheek on it. Look look on the picture. Look at your picture. Uh -huh. Now look at me. Gotcha. See the difference? Yeah. My elbow is tucked in and I'm lifting my shoulder up. And then I got the buttstock in that portion right there while lifting my shoulder up. Mm. And then my cheek sits still. I'm bringing the 
gun up to my eyes and then using my cheek to sit my face on the butt yeah. It's like a, it's like a, like a, like a right? I like, see it, I see it. You want to like put your face on her ass? Kind of uh -huh. like that. I don't know if you should cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Does that make sense though? I see, I see what you're doing and I see what happened. I yeah, that's why I wanted to take a look at the picture. So remember, lean on your front foot. Pick your shoulder up, elbows in, pick your shoulder up and put it in that pocket in your shoulder. And then it's your cheek. Cheek is very important. All right, there's a round in the chamber, so try it. Elbows in. There you go, perfect. There you go. All right, hold that. Hold that. I want you to see this. Perfect. Now shoot. Off to safety. And shoot. Nice. That was good. Cool. Put it on safe. And then nice. I'll clear the weapon. Or you can catch it actually. <laughs> on some fuck shit. Remember, what's more important than safety on range? Content. Content. Catch. Oh, wait, wait. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> got you, got you. Next time. Clear. In the magazine. Jesus Christ. There you go. There you go. All right. That's fine. Uh, go for it. Okay. And then, uh, you want to try loading it up? Yeah. Go for it. Uh, here. And now rack it. What is racking? Uh, take your charging handle, fucking pull it all the way back and let go. All the way back. Let go. There you go. It, that's it. Okay. Point, take it off to safety and shoot. There you go, bro. That was good. Yeah, elbows in. And lift that shit up. Yep. Bring the gun to your eyes. There you go. And now, keep that up. Widen your stance and lean on your front foot. There you go. On your front foot. Yep. Put your body weight on the front foot. There you go. Perfect. And then one thing we do is, it's a, it's a common practice, to make sure the gun is safe, you clear the gun yourself and you have somebody verify it. Mm. First things first, safety's on. Safety. Next thing, magazine. There's no magazine in there. This is the most important part for me. Make sure there's no magazine in there. And the third thing you do is make sure there's nothing in the chamber. Clear the, clear it? Yep. You can lock it to the rear. There's a way to do it. I can show you that. So this is forward. You can pull it back and look at it. But a better thing to do is when it's pulled back, this is called the magazine release button. And this is the lock button, locking the charging handle to the back. So you push this in and you let go. Now it's locked to the back, but you gotta make sure you push this all the way front. If you don't push it all the way to the front and you put a magazine in and you use the release button and your face is right there, watch what happens. You don't want that to your face. Yeah. That's what's important to lock it forward. And yeah, and then you verify it yourself. Hey, okay, so magazine, chamber empty, clear. Gotcha. And that's how you clear it. You just may verify it with somebody else. Okay. You're an alert carry. You're not You're not going to be aiming towards you. You're an alert carry. So you're going to be here, right? Okay, when I say ready and fire, that's when you're going to come up. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. So you have hammer pairs and you have controlled pairs. Mm -hmm. Hammer pairs, as soon as I say hammer pair, you're aiming straight at the center, center mass, and you're shooting as fast as you can, two bullets. Okay, controlled pair coming up, and it's two precise shots. And those ones are more slower. So it's just like, boom, boom, I got one good shot, two good shots. How much more time consuming? And then hammer pair, what's hammer pair again? Remember? Uh, two. Two what? 
to uh, to center mass. How fast? Quick, right? Quick, fast. And a controlled pair is slow, right? Yes. Okay. We're gonna work on those two really quick, and after that, we're moving to the other ones. That's right. So I'm gonna confuse you. I might tell you hammer pair. I might tell you control pair. Did so, I stay in the stance the whole time? Yep. An alert carry. Okay. It's gonna be a hammer pair. All right. Gotcha. Take out the safety. Not until I say fire. Ready? Yeah. Fire. Go. That is hammer pair, right? All right. Got you, got you. Go back down, put it back in safety. Okay, so with this, when you're swapping from safety to fire, just use your thumb on this side. Don't use this finger. Okay, so you're using this thumb. 